Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today uh, Our topic for today is addition of decimals So the content is uh, 2.2.1 Add up to 3 decimals Up to 3 decimal places Right, you can refer to your textbook page at the 6 and at the 7. Okay, let's have a quick revision regarding place value. Okay, okay, what is this number? This is 24. So, what is the place value for each digit? Okay, so the place place value for each digit is okay the place value the place value for 4 is 1 the place value for digit 2 is 10 alright how about this one this is 4537 so what is the place value for each digit in this number so the place value number seven the digit seven is ones digit three is tens digit five is hundreds and digit four is thousands so that is the place value so our topic today is about decimal how about if we put this number a uh, decimal if we put decimal to this number what is the place value for the number after this decimal? Okay, lepas titik perpuluh hari ni, apakah place value untuk nombor-nombor di belakang? Still remember? So, the place value for this one is tenths. Okay, so it is different, alright? So, this is, this is tenths. This is tenth, uh, the sound of th there. So this is the place value for uh, the the next number after the decimal selepas titik perpuluhan ini. And then this one is hundredth. Then the last one is thousandth. Okay. So there is a ths sounds uh, when we pronounce the place value for this decimal, right? So I repeat, this is the place value for the whole number. Okay, you already know about this one. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, uh, 100,000. Okay, but when we want to put the decimal to the number, the place value is different. So the place value for this number, after the decimal, selepas titik perpuluhan, this one is tenths, this is hundreds, and this is thousands. The same with this one. If we put the decimal, okay, so the place value is tens, hundreds, and thousands. Right. This is very important because after this, you are going to add up the decimal. So you have to know what is the, the place value so you will. Uh, add the number according to the on place value. Okay. Otherwise, if you do not know about the place value of this the decimal, then you will get the answer wrong, or you get you will uh, calculate it wrong. Alright. So let's look at the first one for this uh, topic: addition of decimal. The question is, what is the total volume of water in two kettles? So, 1.8 liter plus 0 0.5 liter. Okay. So, look at the, the first method, method number one. Okay, you can see here, uh, there is no much, not much difference between addition of decimal and addition of the whole number. Tak banyak beza je. Okay. Is uh, bentuk lazim yang sama. Okay. Align the decimal point in the same column. Okay. Yang berbezanya adalah there is a decimal point. Ada titik perpuluhan. 
So you have to make sure the decimal point in the same column. Maksudnya pada titik itu sama lurus. Kalau awak buat titik itu sama lurus, maka awak tidak akan ada masalah menjawab soalan. Okay? So that is the important things. Alright? So you can look here. It is the same as uh, addition or whole number. The difference is this uh, has uh, decimal points and also the place value is different. Alright? So method number two uh, mentioned here is about a line, uh, uh, number line. Okay. Alright. Here I would like to emphasize that unit is very important. Make sure you write the unit at the final answer. Okay. This one can have you can see here one point eight liter plus zero point five liter equal to 2.3 liter so you have to write down the unit uh, because it this question is about volume of water berkaitan dengan isi padu air maka unit untuk isi padu air adalah liter jadi you have to write down the unit okay so why unit is important uh, i would like to to bring this to you so that after this you will remember about the importance of unit why impo why unit is important because unit shows what the number refers to okay for example we have here 3267 3267 kilometer 2000 at uh, 3267 gram okay i repeat we have here 3267 here in the green card 3267 kilometer in the blue card 3267 gram so the number is the same the difference is this has kilometer and this has gram g okay the unit so what is uh, the important of unit because the unit shows what the number refers to this one is refers to the whole number it can refer to anything 3267 people 3267 books 2267 uh, birds and many many things it can refer to many things right but this one is about distance jara uh, and then this one is about mass berat okay so without the unit we will not we will uh, not know what is the number refers to kalau tak ada unit kita tak akan tahu nombor itu berkaitan dengan apa ok alright so unit is very important ok let's look at the example of question here add all the masses of fruits berat-berat buah-buahan ni tu tambah Okay, we have here pineapple, watermelon and papaya. 1.3 kg, 4.207 kg, 0.96 kg. Okay. Remember how to pronounce, how to say this number. Okay. Listen to me carefully. 4.207 kg. This one, 0 0.96. Okay, after the decimal point, we say the number 1 by 1. Okay, that is important. So that is how you uh, uh, say out. Uh, that is how you tell the number uh, involving decimal, right?
So we have here 1.3 kilogram plus 4.207 kilogram plus 0.96 kilogram. Okay, if you see the uh, calculation provided by the textbook, they put uh, the mass of watermelon first. Berat uh, buah tembikai dulu. Okay, why? Because the mass for watermelon, it has full place value. Kesemua nilai tempat itu ada digit je. There is a, each place value, there is a digit 4.207. Ha, for pineapple, tens and uh, uh, hundreds and thousands, actually, there is no number. There is no digit. Tak ada digit. So, how to do it? We put zero. Uh, untuk masuk dalam tempat itu. Okay. So, the textbook put the mass of watermelon first here yeah, to make sure you will not get confused. Supaya awak tidak keliru. Sebab itulah dia letakkan berat tembikai dulu di atas. Uh, bila letak berat nenas di atas, mungkin ada yang keliru macam mana nak nak let, uh, apa nak selesaikan ke tempat kosong tu so if you see uh, empty spaces here like this one you put zero right so this is the method that i have provided okay how about if we want to add up the the number or the masses of fruits according to the sequence kalau kita nak tambah ikut urutan macam mana yes you can sure but you have to be very careful. So, 1.3 kilogram plus 4.207 kilogram plus 0.96 kilogram. Okay. Make sure the decimal point is aligned. Pastikan titik perpuluhan itu lurus. And the number or the digit is placed according to their place value. Pada nilai tempat yang betul. Okay. Seperti ini dah disusun. So, how about the empty space? This is the empty space that uh, I mentioned earlier. Ini yang cikgu katakan. Kalau kita letak ini di atas macam ni tadi. Jadi, awak tak keliru. Awak ikut saja. Tapi, kalau ini, what should we do? So, don't worry. You put zero to the empty space. And then, you add up the number and then you will get the answer 6.467 kilogram so don't forget to write the unit kilogram why because you are dealing or you are calculating uh, masses of foods awak sedang menambah berat so Unit yang terlibat dalam kita mengira berat adalah kilogram. Okay, untuk situasi ini adalah kilogram. Alright. Okay, we have a question here. 234 plus 0 0.876 plus 59.01. So, they are Two calculation provided here. Ada dua pengiraan yang disertakan di sini. Which one is correct? What do you think? Which one is correct? The left one here or the right one here? Which one is correct? So before we, uh, before I tell you which one is correct, so let's see here. Okay. There's no problem with this one. 0 0.876. Same. In both calculation, there's uh, uh, the same. Sama. Tak ada perubahan. This one also. 59.0.10. 59.010. So, same. Tak ada masalah. The problem is this one.
here is the problem so let's look I put it I bring this one here okay I bring this one here so that you can see it clearly so so this is 234 234 uh, this one is 0 0.234 is it the same? Surely it's not the same, isn't it? It's totally different. So refer back to the question. Ujuk balik pada soalan. Apa yang ditulis di sini? Can you tell me what is the number? 234. So which one? Is this? Or this one? Or this one? So the left one. This is 234. This is... 0 0.234 Tak sama eh? Kena wujud balik So which one is correct? So the correct calculation is The left one Yang ni So 230, 234 Yes 234 here There is no decimal isn't it? Tak ada, tak, tak ada titik perpuluhan pun So don't worry You put it Buatlah titik perpuluhan Letak 0 di belakang ini. Uh, make sure the decimal point is aligned. Pastikan uh, titik perpuluhan tu sama lurus. And make sure the digit is in the uh, correct place value. Pada nilai tempat yang betul. So, we'll not, you will not get the wrong answer. Right? You, you get it? Okay, I hope you get my point here. So this is wrong, okay? This is wrong. According to the question, this is a wrong cal calculation, right? So next question, this is about uh, the unknown or fill filling the blanks, okay? The answer is given. Your pan akhir dia dah ada, so you have to. Uh, Fill in the blank. Apakah jawapan di tengah? So, so you can use the first method here. First method here is about uh, some say this is uh, kawan baik lah, uh, uh, nombor penggenap macam-macam. So uh, this is the first method. Okay, you have to. But the important thing here, the key point here is you know what is the uh, Addition product, okay. Hasil tambah itu awak tahu dia, awak tahu. So awak kena perbuat. Or you use you you use the second method, okay, by using uh, subtraction. Okay, this one is addition, but to find the answer in the blank, you use subtraction. Okay, if you cannot understand involving the decimal or the big number here you can see the simple example here ha, ini contoh mudah yang untuk awak faham ok 1 tambah tempat kosong sama dengan 3 so macam mana nak cari tempat kosong itu 3 tolak 1 maka tempat kosong itu adalah 2 ha, ini contoh yang mudah untuk awak faham kalau tak dapat faham uh, yang apa? Uh, involving this decimal ok alright now it's time for you to test yourself ok I would like you to uh, complete this question A, B, C, D, E and F ok right it's the instruction step 1 pause the video ok pause the video Step 2. Complete the exercise. All of the question A, B, C, D, E and F. Step 3. Resume the video and check your answer. Because after this, I, uh, I have provided the answer for you. So after you have done all the question, you can resume again this video and check your answer. Step 4. Do correction if needed. If you have uh, any mistake, then uh, correct. The mistake, do the correction, and then last step, send your answer to the 
teacher. Okay, send your answer to me uh, by using WhatsApp. Alright, uh, take a picture of your solution or your uh, calculation and then send to me. Okay, if you need to see the explanation again, play the video, play this video from the start. Kalau perlu kan, kalau perlu tengok lagi uh, penerangan, boleh mainkan video ini semula daripada awal. Right? So, good luck. Try your best. Do the, calculate the uh, question here. Okay? Alright, I assume that you have already done your answer. So, let's check your answer here. Okay, the first question. 3.0 meter plus 1.9 meter. So, this is the answer. Remember to put the unit. Without unit, your answer is wrong. Tanpa unit, jawapan awak salah. Because this decimal is, in, is about distance. Okay. Berkaitan dengan jarak. Berkaitan dengan ukuran. So, kena ada unit dia. So, the answer is 4.9 meter. B. 10. Point five four liter plus seven point zero zero nine liter. Okay, this one is involve volume. The unit is liter, so you can do like this. Oh, if you need to put zero here, you can put zero here. It's no, it's uh, no problem. Okay, you can put zero here or if you don't put zero, it's also can as long as you get the answer correct. So, the answer is 17.549 liter. You have to write the unit. Okay. Question C. Okay, 6.93. Okay, let's look here. Make sure the decimal point is aligned. Pastikan lurus. And then the digit you put according to the place value. Masuk pada uh, nilai tempat yang betul. Here, you can leave it blank. Awak boleh tinggalkan kosong ni. Yang penting awak tahu uh, pengiraan dia. But you put zero also can. Okay. It's up to you. So, we we'll get the answer. 87.451 Do you need to, to write down any unit here? No. Because this question is is not involving any unit. Tak ada melibatkan apa-apa unit pun. Cuma nombor perpuluhan sahaja. So, tak perlu pandai-pandai letak unit. So, D 36.584 plus 6.0 6.000 plus 0.732 Okay, if you see here, this one is only 6 num sahaja. So, don't worry. You put the decimal Can you put 0, 0, 0 Okay, just like what I did here. So, the apa yang cikgu buat di sini. So, you calculate and then you will get 43.316. Okay, also this is not involving any unit. So, don't put any unit here. Right? And then the last one. Question E and, e and F. Okay, 0 0.645 plus 29.1 plus 917. 0 0.08 okay you can put if you leave the blank also can but if you want to write down the zero you can uh, you can do it also okay it's no problem so you calculate the answer and you will get 946.825 right and then the last question 100. Uh, this one uh, always confuse confusing uh, peoples. Selalu kelirukan awak. So don't worry. Okay, 
zero zero zero. Okay, that is how you do it. So plus fifty nine point two zero zero plus one point six zero three. You calculate the answer, then you will get one hundred and sixty point eight zero three. So how's your answer? You get six out of six. Right? If you have any mistake, make sure you do the correction. Okay, make sure you do the correction. Because uh, after the if you do the correction then you can uh, master this addition of decimal. Okay. So do the correction if you have any mistake before you send the answer to me. Alright. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. If you have any problem regarding the addition of decimal, you can always uh, watch the video again from the from from the beginning. Right. See you. Thank. Okay. Thank you.